Uh, I'm doing great, thank you. Need a little bit of rest the next few days, but uh, you know, I'm incredibly grateful for the trip to Manila, and hopefully, I can go back and visit sometime soon again. So, how can you describe your Philippines trip? Oh my God, it was ah. Uh, uh, It, I mean, it was great fun. You know, I, I had, <laughs> I felt very privileged as well because I had definitely uh, felt the Filipino hospitality, definitely get got the VIP treatment. So you know, I was absolutely loving it and you know enjoying every part of it. You know, the food, the weather. Uh, it was raining a little bit, so maybe not so much the weather. But um, yeah, everything else was great. The people were so nice and friendly, and especially Jollibee. That's something on top of my list now. I had the spicy chicken with spaghetti, and that was fantastic. I love it. I, I wanted to get some at the airport, but I couldn't find Jollibee at the airport. Aside from Jollibee, what did you have? Like Filipino food that you have tried? I've tried ad adobo. I had the kare kare. I didn't manage to get halo halo. Mm. Yeah, that's a shame. Maybe huh? we can try here in Bangkok. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe. But uh, yeah, or I'll just go back and try some more. <laughs> yeah, so what can you say about um, the Filipino fans that they welcome you so warmly? Oh my God! I mean, <laughs> it's an incredibly overwhelming experience as well because you know I really did not expect that many people to have been supporting me, and you know the moment that uh, I went up on stage to hear all the whole crowd roaring. Uh, you know, it definitely fills my heart, and I'm incredibly grateful for all my Filipino fans. You know, salamat po, m a h a l ko kayo. And the moment you spoke the gun, yeah. wow! <laughs> I hear those people cheering for you like. They were shocked to speak on stage with the Tagalog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, service of fans, right? <laughs> It was like um, Miss uh, Asia Pacific spoke in English. Yeah. Yeah, you know, gonna be different, right? So I don't know. I think it's you know, it's the first time being in Philippines. You know, the nicest thing you could at least do is just greet them in Tagalog. So I thought it was a perfect moment and opportunity to do that. It was fantastic. It was lovely. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and yeah, you attended the Philippine festival. So how was yeah. your experience in the Philippine festival? Oh my God! I think. You know, after hearing what the Filipino festival stands for, I, you know, it's an incredible event that you know we all should support because it's not only just you know a coronation of a king and queen, but it's a celebration of Filipino culture for a month long. You know, it's film, fashion, music, food, everything. Like it's a culmination of Filipino fest, uh, cultures. So I think you know. People should get on it, and I think you know we should definitely show support to Jonas for pulling an event like this off. You know, with all the production, the whole stage, everything was so amazing. The lighting, and they definitely put on a show. And you've met the kings and queens of the Philippines. Yes. And yes. How was it? Oh my God! I mean, <laughs> everyone was great. You know, especially after the competition, I actually got to meet all of them and said hi, had a chat, and you know, it. it Kind of took me back to Mr. International Thailand to see, you know, all the, you know, twenty-something guys all together, and you know, bonding, helping each other grow. I think, you know, it really reflects uh, the beauty of male pageants, and also, you know, the the sheer determination of all the female contestants as well, trying to get to the top. You know, I, I, I completely respect it. And how was your meeting with Mr. International? Oh, it was great! It was great. She was extremely friendly, and yeah, she's got this charm and charisma within her. So, I think you know that's what got her over the line, and uh, I'll be seeing her again in Vietnam. And you also met k u l i n and Emily. Ah, yeah, Papao, Papao, yes, Papao, yeah. She's an incredibly down-to-earth uh, queen, and you know, I'm I'm not surprised at all uh, why she got so far. And you know, seeing her, you know, 
reach out to all the kids when we went to the charity and when she went on stage, you know, it's a very heartwarming moment and I'm sure that Philippines is incredibly proud of her as well. Alright, so yeah, to sum you up, how do you find Philippines? Oh, amazing, amazing. I cannot wait to get back and also explore a little bit more. You know, I want to go to Cebu, I want to go to Palawan, I want to go to Boracay. Uh, I got to go back sometime soon. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Kim. And what's up for Mr. International? What's next? What's next? Uh, I've got a fashion show and some work in Bangkok for the next few days. And after that, I'm heading over to Vietnam for a photo shoot with Miss Supra. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, stay tuned to what's more to come with Mystery International 2023. Thank you. Salamat po.